it's Jana and welcome to Pinch of Luck. Today we will be making a Kermit cake. He's so cute. Cause the new Muppet Show is coming out. It's not easy being green. All of the tools and ingredients we will be using today will be down in the description below. So let's get lucky. I've already made my cake. I just used a French vanilla box cake. You can just follow the instructions on the box or make your own recipe. And I also threw a little bit of green in there just to make it green on the inside. Why not? I used two eight inch rounds for this cake. We're just gonna pop these out and level them off. Now I have a cookie sheet with some wax paper and a little cooling rack sitting right on top. So we're just gonna place our cake right on there. And we're gonna throw a little icing in the middle and just flip your other cake right on top of it. I have my template of Mr. Kermit here, so I will put a link down below so you can print one out for yourself. But we are just going to cut around his little face here and that is what we are going to use. We're gonna place our template right on our cake and cut him out. That looks just about perfect. Now, this is the most exciting part. We are doing a new technique. I have never tried it before and I'm very excited to try it. We're gonna take a full tub of icing and we are going to microwave it and melt it down and drizzle it all over the cake. I'm really excited to see if it turns out. But of course, Kermit is green, so we are going to have to add some green in there. So I do have the Kelly green here. Use whatever green you got. You know, you know what color he is and we're going to throw this in the microwave for 15 seconds and then stir it and then do another 15 seconds and that should be it. So let's go melt this baby down. Wow, that melted really easy. Pretty cool. Okay, so now we are going to add in our green. So now you know why we have it on our rack because we're gonna pour this stuff on there. Here's for nothing. You're gonna pour on about a fourth of this tub and do another layer and another layer and smooth out your edges. Now we're just gonna set this aside and start making his facial features. Remember our cutout of Kermie? We're gonna use this again to make his facial features. So I'm just going to tape it down onto a cookie sheet with some wax paper on top. Now I have some candy melts that I'm going to use to make his facial features. I have a very little bit of red, a little bit of white for his eyes, just a few for the pink in his tongue, and a very little bit of black for the pupils in his eyes. So let me get these all heated up and I'm just gonna throw these into some small Ziploc bags. Got all my colors, so we are just going to snip the ends of it and fill in what we're supposed to fill in. Now that his mouth and the blacks of his eyes are done, I'm just gonna move the Kermit template so I can do the whites of his eyes without messing up any of the black. All right, we got all our pieces, so we are gonna throw these in the freezer for about five minutes just to get everything set up so we can put Mr. Kermit all together. I transferred my Kermit head onto a 12 inch round cake platter and now we can just stick our pieces on. It's not a big deal, it's super easy. Grab his smile and grab his eye. Use a little bit of white for some glue for his blacks of his eyes. Now for the last step we just need to do the little lines for his smile. I'm really excited to check out the new Muppet Show. We'll see how it turns out. And this was so easy to make. Oh my gosh. I don't think it can get any easier than that. I think we got lucky. Wow guys, this guy came out so cute. Yay Kermie! If you guys make this, send me a picture on Twitter. And if there's anything you wanna see, just leave a comment down below. And as always, if you loved it, like it, subscribe to it, and share it. Thanks, guys. Bye. 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 Look at my shirt.